Hey friends, today we are gonna kick off another epic Disney Resort hopping staycation. I am so excited for this. I know you guys enjoyed those videos and you enjoyed the sunrises. So we're gonna do it again and we're gonna stay at different resorts we haven't stayed at yet or different parts of resorts. We've already done the Grand Floridian and we've done the Polynesian, the Boardwalk and the Wilderness Lodge. So let's go do this. And for our first night, we came back to the Wilderness Lodge. But we're staying in the Boulder Ridge Villas. Never stayed here before. We stayed at Copper Creek last time. So I'm excited to see what these rooms are like. I can tell you right now, Boulder Ridge is definitely a lot more quiet and more secluded than Copper Creek is. And it's actually a very beautiful scenery around us. Oh, and I love the music they're playing. Last time we were staying at the Wilderness Lodge, we were actually staying at the Copper Creek Villas, which is right here. And this time we're in the Boulder Ridge section and I asked for a room on the highest level and they actually gave me the fourth floor and the very last room at the end. So we're pretty far away from actually all of the hustle bustle from the main resort. And that's what I like. And like I said, normally, if you're actually on vacation, you wouldn't want to put in a request for the highest level and the farthest away. But because this is a staycation, and I'm going to be focusing more on the resort, that's how I like things. And if you recall, last time we explored over here, I really fell in love with this lobby. And now we get to stay here. Look how beautiful this is. The music, all the wood. It is such a gorgeous lobby. Look at all the way up. And also, now that we're actually staying here, we can spend some time in the Carrollwood Pacific room and actually feel at home because we're staying here. You know, you visit the resorts all the time, well I do, and uh, if I'm not staying here, I kind of don't feel comfortable, but when I'm staying here, it's like I'm home. So I can't wait to actually come down here and just relax and hang out with Walt's original train and just take in all of this beautiful resort. But for now, we need to find the elevator so we can go check out our room. And right here are the elevators, and they are fancy. Wow, I've never seen such a beautiful elevator door before. The inside of the elevator is really nice too. I mean, wow, this might be my favorite elevator. Oh, I love the Grand Floridian one though. Oh, this is so exciting. I like these hallways, as you can see, our room number is 4563, so we are the last room. This way, please. A look down at this beautiful lobby. Look at all of this woodwork and all the carpets, too. We're at the top floor of this area, and our room is actually down the hallway. This is really nifty. Take a look at the hidden Mickeys up there. This is a really pretty resort. I have never been here before. And here is our room. Like I said, if you're on vacation, you definitely don't want to ask for the farthest away room because that is a long walk and a day at the parks, you're gonna feel it. But I am all about the views from the balcony. So usually the last room is always got good views. So now let's check out the room. Whoop. Oh, this is nice. I like it. Oh, I suppose we should just jump in and give you the grand tour. Look at that door. That's the door to the bathroom. I like it. I'm going to take a peek see inside. Ooh, nice little tub. They don't got the stand up showers, but you can't have it all, can you? But I like this door. And then we'll check out. The little sink area. Oh, that's me. Hi. I like these lamps. And I also love the sink, too. It's like a little waterfall. Ooh, now that's a fancy sink. Oh, I like it. Wow. Got a very large closet. Oh, yeah. It's got all the extra pillows and all that good stuff. Not too deep. Oh, wait, that is deep. Holy moly. Why? They put so much unused space back here. Look at how far away we are. This is like a whole nother room. I mean, if you put down some billows and a uh, little blanket, you can actually sleep in here. 
I'm serious. Take a look at this. It's huge. And then we have the kitchen area with another closet. Why do they have so much closet space in this room? Wow. I mean, this doesn't take you to Narnia or anything, but lots of closet space. You can see you got the microwave, the toaster, the fridge. Fully stocked and ready to go. I like it. Oh, no French vanilla creamer. Dang. And now let's take a look at the sleeping arrangements. I closed the curtain for the balcony because I want to show that last. But take a look at this bed. I love it. I love the little wood carving in it and the little lights too. And then they got some fancy art over here too. I don't know what this says. These are actually Parkline brochures. I like it. Bay Lake, Wonderland, the villas in winter. This is really cool. A nice couch. This definitely pulls out. Nice little coffee table. But I feel like something's missing. The chairs are actually really, really nice and heavy. Very sturdy, but we're gonna have to pull these away because we gotta take a look at that bed in there. It's always got a hidden treat, and I can't wait to see it. Okay. Aw, that is gorgeous. Aw, look at Bambi. This is such a cute little one. I like this one. This one might be my favorite. Wow. I feel like they could have just probably put a table with some chairs there and just had this on its own so that way you didn't have to pull everything away to get to it but regardless it is such a nifty little treat i love just checking these out they're like the highlight of the room oh that's heavy another nifty feature is this dresser very nice dresser i always listen to the sound that the dressers make when they open I can tell you a lot about it how good of a quality it is this one glides very easily. Oh yes, I like it. I also like that main light fixture up there. But, now we have to get to the good stuff. The balcony view. You guys know I'm all about those views. It's a good one. It's a good one. Just take a look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? nature surrounding us nothing to see even on this side oh wow this is going to be beautiful and i'm pretty sure the sunrise actually happens right there so we're going to get a good spot of it but it's going to be hard to clear those tree lines but it's still beautiful i love it here can look where the farthest all the way down the patio furniture is pretty nice oh metal metal and uh, it's not that big. Actually, the closet is longer than the, the balcony. It's a little strange. I couldn't lay down out here. They actually used to have a walkway that you can take over to Fort Wilderness. And it actually was right there. That's no longer actually open. And I was thinking about maybe taking a trip over to Fort Wilderness and see what kind of food they have. Since I've already eaten at most of the locations here at the Wilderness Lodge, I thought that would be fun. So we're going to explore options on how we get over there and see what they have to open too. So now we got all settled in. Got my face mask on. Going to grab a Bud Light. And we're going to hit the road and see about getting on over to Fort Wilderness. I'm excited to get there. I haven't been there yet since it's actually reopened. It'd be good to see something different. Also want to point out, they got remotes properly cleaned and sanitized. Plus one of those fancy Blu-ray players. And I have some great news because I found out that PJ's takeout window at Fort Wilderness is open and Crockett's Tavern. So PJ's actually sells the same ribs and chicken as Trails End and Hoop Dee Doo. So we're going to get some ribs and chicken and uh, probably some moonshine from the tavern. I'm excited! The bad news is the boat is not running. So we're going to actually have to take a bus which i don't mind i like buses oh yeah right here we're gonna have to take a bus but it's definitely gonna take us a little bit longer to get there when we used to be able to just take the boat and then be right there we're gonna have to go all the way around seriously though when you're walking through here and this music's on it's so great 
Look at those views. I just love the music. I've never actually taken a bus from here to the Fort Wilderness campgrounds before. So I don't know if they have a quicker way or if we actually have to go through the whole entire resort loop that they have there. Either way, it has been a long time since I've been on a Disney bus. So I think I'm actually going to enjoy this. And it looks like we got the Daisy bus. Can't come in? Ah, we have to get in on this side. Well, just me? Let's sit right here? Sounds good. Holy moly, uh, they actually do have a quicker way to get here because I was literally just sitting there. I looked down at my phone for a second and we're here. That to me is absolutely mind blowing. It literally took like two minutes to get from Wilderness Lodge over to Fort Wilderness by bus. Usually they take you back out on World Drive and you have to go all the way around. That was awesome. It's so strange seeing Fort Wilderness like this. I like the music though. Pioneer Hall where Hootie Doo would normally be. There would be tons of people out here at this time. It's just me. Just little old me. And this is where Trails End would be. And like I said, Crockett's Tavern is open. We can mobile order food actually from PJ's. So we're probably gonna do that and then eat in Crockett's. I like that idea. They cleared out all the bar stools and they have some tables here, but I'm interested in the moonshine drinks. All of their drinks actually are served with moonshine. You can get other things too, but that's what they're known for. I like it. And I think a moonshine mojito is catching my fancy here. That looks really delicious. Or the gully womper. These are some really awesome mixed drinks. And I like that it's actually different than all the other resorts because like I said, they use moonshine here. Thank you. You've got it. And take a look at that guys. Now that's a moonshine mojito. I don't think I've ever had a moonshine mojito, but I do love mojitos. You can actually drink in the tavern itself. They have all these tables actually set to the side and socially distanced. But since I'm at Fort Wilderness, I'm going to go sit in the rocking chairs and enjoy my moonshine just like an old timer would. They got some really nifty looking rocking chairs and it's a nice view too. Usually you would see a lot of horses, but I don't think the horses are out and about now. I'm curious on how this is going to taste because they are known for making very strong drinks here. But we're going to give it a go. Delicious. Mojitos are so refreshing. Oh, now we're just going to kind of chill out. Relax. I like it. This is seriously so peaceful and relaxing. I absolutely love this spot. But now let's put our food in at PJ's so then that way once we finish our drink, it'll actually be ready and we can start eating. I am probably just gonna mobile order, but since PJ's has this like nifty large menu, I'm gonna show it to you guys because it's probably easier to read. I'm more than likely gonna get the ribs and chicken combo for $24.99. I don't think I need a full slab and eight pieces of chicken, but that's a good deal for $44.99. And then they got pizzas and burgers and pulled pork, all the good stuff. Even some snacks. Ooh, I like snacks. And the chicken and rib combo actually comes with two sides. You can choose from mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, cowboy beans, french fries. So I decided to get fries and cowboy beans. You know, I wanted the beans because kind of felt like I was a little bit in a Western. So word to the wise though, if you get this drink, take your time with it because it is very strong. And I just got the notification that our chicken and ribs is ready. I'm so excited. I'm actually really hungry. If you're not familiar where PJ's is, it's actually in Trails End. Like you actually go to the buffet and pick up your food. Right now there's no food on the buffet and it's kind of just like an open area. But this is where we're going to pick up our food. This is huge. What did I order here? So now we're going to find ourselves a table and this is all the dining for actual Trails End. Ooh, let's sit over here. 
Yeah, I like this little corner spot. Hello, friend. So, I kind of perceived that wrong. I thought this was kind of like just an entree of ribs and chicken. This is a family meal. Holy moly, guys. I have so much food. Wait till you see this. This is happening here, guys. This is a lot of food. I don't even know. Wow. I don't even think I'm going to finish this all because this is way too much. Who am I kidding? I'm going to probably finish it. Let's take a look in this mystery box first. You can see we got chicken and ribs all in there. And then this box was the french fries. And then the cowboy beans. And then I'm guessing this is barbecue sauce because the ribs are actually aren't sauced. So we're going to have to change that. I'm going to take out the chicken, put it in the french fry box. Oh yeah, just like this. This is still a lot of food. Okay, and now we have the ribs right in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little barbecue sauce right in there. And then I'm going to close this up like this. Give it a little shake. And bada boom, barbecue ribs. First things first, I think we're gonna dive into the chicken. I'm gonna go for the drumstick. Does anyone get drumsticks usually first? I just like them because they're easy to eat. But uh, I'm excited. This is good chicken. This is the same chicken at Hoopty Doo and at Trails End. That is so delicious. And then take a look at the cornbread. Like they give you a whole entire loaf. Holy moly. And then the baked beans. That is way too much baked beans. So, well, it's family size. I just didn't know. But these are delicious. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat this whole container of beans. So some of this is going home with me or back to the room. But let's get down to business. And I mean rib business. And I'm probably not going to record anything after... I eat these because I have to leave and go wash my hands. I don't want to get barbecue sauce all over the camera, but these look fantastic. I don't even know how to approach this, but I'm just taking the whole rack out. I'm just gonna take the whole rack out. Maybe just pull one off. Oh, wow. That's, oh boy. All right. They literally fall off, but they're still very tough. You know, some people, it's like a big rib debate. You know, fall off the bone isn't the proper way. But these are like right in the middle and I like that. So, okay, well, now we're outside. I had to run to the restroom and I came to kind of a sticky situation. No pun intended, but I was eating the ribs and I ended up getting barbecue sauce all over my face and all over my uh, white t-shirt or black t-shirt. And uh, I had to go to the restroom and I was sitting at the table and uh, I was like, I can't put my mask on because then I'm gonna get barbecue sauce all over my mask. So then I was like, what do I do? So then I ran and grabbed the napkin, put it over my face and then put my mask on and I came running out and like to the restroom like this and <laughs> I washed my face and then, you know, took the napkin away and I was all good. But it's very hard to eat barbecue ribs when you're wearing a face mask. I never even thought of that. And now that we are actually all cleaned up, can we just take a second and appreciate that sunset that's happening right over there? That is beautiful, isn't it? I love this whole entire resort over here. It's just so beautiful and I love the music too. But we need to head back because we're also staying at a beautiful resort. So we're gonna head back to our room. I gotta find a bus. I hopefully don't have to wait long because I was the only one that was waiting to come over here. I might be the only person that's waiting to go back. And would you look at that? The new Tricircle D Ranch. I haven't been over here to see this yet, but this is beautiful. It used to be right here. Look at that sunset. Holy moly. But that is unbelievable. I love it. It looks so great and I could see a little white horse just sitting there right now. It is closed right now, but I'm definitely coming back. I'm coming back. Not alone this time, but I really like these new buses. They got kind of like a wood floor. That's pretty fancy. And now we're back. 
literally probably took two minutes. I love the bus transportation. I thought it was gonna be a couple minutes. Like I thought like maybe 20 minutes, but this is really awesome. And I like seeing all these lights on. It's like a new experience. And now we're back at the fancy elevators. You look at that. And guys, I am so full right now. Honestly, that is such an amazing deal for family. I didn't eat it all. Uh, I did eat all the ribs and chicken though. I didn't uh, finish the beans or the cornbread or the fries. And I didn't feel like bringing them back, so I just tossed them. I wish I would've known I would've gotten the smaller meal, but next time, I do know. So now, I'm back in the room. Ooh, my glasses are reflecting the resort TV. You hear the music? Now I'm just going to hang out on the balcony, relax, and calm myself down before I actually have to head to bed. I don't normally go to bed this early, but when I'm staying at resorts, we got to wake up and uh, have coffee and sunrise time because I love that. It's just really fun, and I think this one's going to be a good one. So I'll make myself go to bed early for that. But just a quick pillow count. Looks like we've got four pillows. The Polynesian's still the champion. Six pillows they left me, plus the backups in the closet. And I think I'm gonna let the TV just keep on playing. Maybe turn it down a little bit, but falling asleep to Soren doesn't sound like a bad idea. So, uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. And good morning. <sighs> Time for coffee and a little bit of sunrise. I like that. I woke up a little bit later than I normally do and it's actually starting to get light out so I'm gonna have to hurry up here. I forgot the French vanilla creamer. Tiss tiss. Oh wow. Oh yeah, this is looking beautiful here guys. I'm so excited. You might say that the true life adventures began with a little deer named Bambi. Walt Disney had purchased some film of a fawn in its natural state for his animators to study for their Bambi animation. But Walt saw something else. And one thing has always led to another here, and Bambi was no exception. Well, that was nice and relaxing. Very peaceful. I love it here. The sunrise, I couldn't get the actual sun because we weren't high enough over the tree levels. So it was actually peeking through the trees. What I thought was actually kind of pretty, but it is just beautiful over here. I love all of the views and the nature and the different types of trees. It's a really relaxing balcony. You can see the cabins right through all those trees there. They kind of look cool like that. And it's just very nice, isn't it? See, we're still waiting for that sun to actually peek over the tree line and it's almost eight o'clock. So I've been out here for uh, two hours. <laughs> uh, definitely worth it though. All right, well, I'm gonna pour myself my second cup of coffee in the morning. I need two or three usually. And uh, I'm gonna take it down to the Carrollwood Pacific room and uh, kind of just hang out in front of the fireplace, look at Walt Disney stuff, and uh, sit in the rocking chairs. I like that idea. Might be the only person down here already. I would think this is like a hot spot. Ooh, listen to that music. 
and of course we do have to take a look at all of the cool Disney history down here. I pointed out before that this is Walt's train that he actually had in his backyard. Well, two pieces of it. Still, that's an amazing thing. And there's actual pictures all around of Walt Disney just enjoying his love for trains. These are all amazing. I just love old Disney history. It's so amazing. He was such a great man. This is what I am talking about. And with that, I think I'm done here. Thank you so much to my buddy Matt and uh, the rest of the Cole family. They had points left over, so they're the reason that I'm staying here. Um, they ended up giving me those points and very nice of them like honestly i'm very grateful to anything that i ever received so thank you guys thank you to the cool family and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoy making them so we'll see you next time bye